Hey everyone, welcome to the Wargame Forge YouTube channel. I am Chris, the man behind Wargame Forge, and I wanted to run a little uh, virtual demonstration here uh, for my Gothic buildings uh, because of my latest design campaign. I am getting a lot of new uh, new gamers in checking this out, so I wanted to kind of show off something here for the Adeptus Satanicus uh, players out there. I've been getting questions about line of sight blocking, especially when it comes to taller titans and. Uh, these two pieces you're seeing right here, and I believe this is uh, Gothic Building 28 and Gothic Building 59, if I remember correctly. These represent the two tall, the, the tallest that the Gothic buildings come in. Um, primary reason for that is I don't like designing stuff that I can't print myself on my printers and make sure that they work before releasing a design. And I currently have a, a, a couple adventure Flash Forge Adventure Three printers, and they are their print volume is 150 millimeters cube. So I am a bit limited on the height that I can sometimes go. So on these, I wanted to take a moment and show you one of the workarounds I came came up with, and that's actually one of the reasons why I have what I call the double wide Gothic here. Um, because this was the original and uh, went as high as I could and the shape of the buildings, the shape of these, the original gothic buildings are inspired by the original epic cardboard buildings and so that's why I have this particular shape. But one of the major reasons I came up with the, the thicker ones here, um, just because well one, it, it offers more line of sight blockage for for the height, but I also did it for this reason. Uh, let me see here. I think it was 136, I believe. And then we just go draw that out during, so you can see. Basically, you can stack the Adeptus Titanic, the I'm sorry, the the Gothic buildings on top of one another. As long as, of course, you, duh, put the larger one on the bottom, smaller one on the top. And you can do this for all the different shapes, and you can even mix and match the different shapes uh, that you stack on there. As long as they fit, you can go ahead and do that. So the overall height now, with the two stacked on one another, is we are at 275 millimeters. So, now this is being done, as you can see here, with the undamaged, non-ruined version of the buildings. And as of things stand right now, you cannot stack the ruined versions um, but I have decided I'm going to look into fixing that and you'd still not be able to stack a ruined on top of a ruined but just because most of the ruined the tops of the buildings or the what stuff is what's really ruined so stacking would be very hard but at least with what I'm going to do you'll be able to take a non-ruined and then put a ruined on top of it because right now, the reason why you can't do it is on many of the ruined versions of the Gothic buildings, and also ruined on any of my ruined buildings in general, there is a skirt of rubble at the base to kind of add to the battle damage look of these buildings. And with that skirt on there, you can't stack them. So what I'm going to do, starting with this design campaign that, I, that will be starting shortly, is I will be offering versions of the ruined buildings without that uh, rubble skirt around the base. So that way you will have the option of printing with or without the rubble skirt. And that way you can stack the buildings up as tall as you would like without having to worry about that. Now, do we need to go taller than this? Do I need to create a triple wide so we can just keep stacking and stacking? Let me know if that's something you want me to look into. And I will also say this. The... The version without the rubble skirt is not going to cost any extra. It's just going to be a free file within the listing when that go when they go live. So that way, when you buy the list and when you get the files because you supported the campaign or you're ending up buying these later, you will get the two files for the price that you would have paid just for the one with the skirt. So it's not a big edit for me to go work on, so I got no problem doing that. And I will see in the near future about going back and, and editing the other ruined ones that I already have available. So I'll look into that. But... I hope this helped you guys out. I hope you like this idea. I would love, as always, to hear comments, suggestions, or ideas in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if this is your first time here. Share this with your friends. Uh, I appreciate the time you took to listen to me babble on about this, uh, this idea. So, hope you guys are having a great time. I'll talk to you later. Bye.